haven't seen you in quite some time. I know. But I was just looking in the hallway at all the photos. And... Since you were on The Leftovers, I think, was the last time that you were here. Yeah, I, and I was pregnant with my baby girl. Yes. But nobody I, knew that. Uh, you were pregnant with the... Yeah, you did not. I feel like I you like, hid that from me. Weird. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, you moved Hi. also out of the country since then. Yes, we, I'm living in London. I fell in love with an Englishman. And uh -huh. we have two babies. <laughs> and... Did you, why? Did you go there? Did you see Trump coming, or did you... Uh, <laughs> your husband's did. work keeps him there? Um, yeah, he lives there. His work keeps him there. And um, he has a son, and we just Brady Bunch. Gotcha. And, um, How old are your on. children now? My eldest is 15. Okay. David's son's 12, Gray. And then my four-year-old boy, Sailor, and Lula is three. So do the kids the now kids. think of themselves as Americans in England, oh. or do they just think of themselves <laughs> as, as English children? Uh, Milo is a little bit of a reluctant, like, he's a real New Yorker. He's okay. got an American accent, but the babies have complete English accents. Is there anything cuter Mommy. than little kids speaking like that? I mean, yeah, it is the so best. it's so sweet. It's very sweet. But I'm always reminding them, because they say the English words for everything. So they'll say, like... The stroller, they call it a buggy, uh -huh. and they trash cans a bin, and I'm always like, so they'll say the English version, like chips, and I'll say, you mean you want some French fries? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to remind them of all the, uh, but now I started saying. Oh, you're saying their yeah. words? Yeah, that's what happens. You and it, before you know it, you'll be rooting for yeah. the wrong team at the Olympics. <laughs> and <laughs> what is your? London is a great city. It's I mean, right. Beautiful, yeah. What is your least favorite thing about living um, <laughs> there and being away from the United States? It's really funny because it's really basic things like the 24 hour clock, just I can't get my head around it. Okay. I don't oh, know what do... 19 o'clock means. Uh -huh. I can't, yeah, I have to have a chart in the kitchen. Um, and Celsius and Fahrenheit. Oh, forget really about it. Just really gets me. So you've been there a while. Wow, you still uh, haven't figured that so out. It's so silly. It's really silly. Yeah, I should figure. And driving, I'm too scared to drive on that side, which is weird because I'm a good driver here. Uh huh. Um, well, you know, America, because everybody's on the wrong side of the road. It just scares there. me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, and almost... the roundabouts, and there's just oh yeah, the right. rules like pedestrians do not have the right of way in England at all. So that there's like sort of different things that. Now you mentioned this to one of our producers, uh -huh. and that you said that you have some confusion with the street signs there. <laughs> and this, I started going through these, and this is unbelievable it's so to me. Funny. Oh, now, can okay. maybe you can help tell us what? I'm not sure if you even know what these. Now, what does? Now, I'm going to ask our audience, what does this mean to you? Right, this is a bicycle zone, right? Oh, a bicycle lane? Well, yeah, guess yeah. what? This actually means no bicycling. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> and yet, there's no cross. But then you've got this, and this means... What is that? The national speed limit applies. Oh, wow. Well, wow, you really don't know what's going on. <laughs> now, this, this confusing sign <laughs> means no waiting. Okay, okay. Hey, you tell me if I have any of these I don't wrong. know. No, but you... this means... No motor vehicles. Everything is no. Wow. I mean, like, when they got <laughs> Ghostbusters over there, they must have been like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> this is one I never saw before. This is oh, T-junction yeah. with priority over vehicles from the right. Wow. <laughs> now, what do you think this means? Wow, no idea. I've never seen that one. This means no vehicles carrying explosives. <laughs> If I saw the sign, I'd be like, boy, I should get some explosives. I... And this one is interesting. This is um, Harry Potter theme. This is no wizards allowed. Yeah. So we've learned that um, you should probably just take a cab when you're... Yeah, I'm do just they have sticking Uber? to Uber. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they have Uber No, I actually there. take black cabs everywhere. You do? And I have so much fun in the black cabs. Because you so talk to smart. the drivers? Oh, my God, I interview them. I ask them a million questions. Um, but they're very sweet. Well, they, they have to take all these very extensive tests to become a taxi driver. I see. For four years, they drive around on these little Vespas, and they have to know every single street in London. So they actually know what they're talking about. So you're saying compared to maybe New York taxi drivers? <laughs> the opposite of New York. <laughs> they're not they're taking going a test? down the wrong way. They're yeah. not studying for something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> your husband is a sports agent, right? Or your he, fiance? He yes. used to play football. Um, he did when he was a kid. Uh huh. Through all his teens and 
I guess he stopped in his early 20s at Manchester United when he was a kid. I don't know how all that works. I know nothing about sports. Well, no, and if I he live got with to Manchester athlete, United, but... that's the top yeah. of the thing. So he didn't see, like, I stopped when I was a kid, which was nine, <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, he was winning all these trophies and stuff when he was a kid, yeah. <laughs> which makes him more spoiled than me. I'm always like, I'm the rock star's kid. And, but he, he grew up in such a... Like in the house, especially with his family, it's all about football. Every uh -huh. weekend, everybody's standing out in the cold, freezing, all to watch their... Do you, you know, go to the games with him since he is... I do sometimes, And yeah. do you enjoy that? Uh, I do. I just have no idea what's going on. I just hear the... <laughs> it's so far away. Um, football, I call it football now. Uh -huh. See, I'm getting it all mixed it's up. It's so far away um, because your seats are not good, or why is no, it so No, it's far? just so... It's like a basketball game. You're right there, I feel like. Yes. In a... Yes. Even base, I don't know, there's something about uh, soccer that it feels very far away and the, the pitch is huge and there's a lot of chanting and, and you're the not, chants are crazy. The rules are, oh yeah, the chants are The rules are I have no idea. He's tried to explain. There are songs, have you learned times. any of the songs or chants or um, anything like that? I'm always just so surprised because we'll sit down and there's kids everywhere and families and I'm like, oh my God, this is so inappropriate because they're shouting. <laughs> and <laughs> I can't say like yeah, <laughs> Yeah. All these words, and I'm like, oh, my God. Very English words. I just and want to mention... I'm, your, I'm, I'm turning red now. Just I just want to it. mention our audience at home. Liv, you didn't hear it because you heard a bleep, but Liv just said some very, very bad <laughs> words. Like, far beyond what we imagined they were going to be. Hold on. But the C word... Liv, didn't though. you see the sign? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. Okay. Liv Tyler is here. Our show is 911 Lone Star. We'll be right back. All right, until they get here, you assess the patient. Excuse us, excuse us. Let us through. Marjan, talk to the family, see if he has any allergies. Mateo, move these people back so we have some room to work. Yeah, thank you. He may give us some room to work. This scene belongs to us. You must have missed the part where they made me the captain of the 126. Michelle Blake, paramedic captain. And this scene is medical, so I run the call. That is Liv Tyler. <laughs> Lone Star. That I was my first day at work. Oh, that was? That was my first day. It was really scary. I would imagine that as an I actor, walk watching in television, like, I know growing what I'm up, talking about. I don't know anything that. about being a paramedic. <laughs> oh, you don't really? I'm learning. No, but that was my first day, and I had to come in and cut someone open and save their life. And but somebody's there watching you and telling you, like, yeah, this exactly. is how it should be done. Yes. And you have no idea whether that person actually knows if it's... They can no, really... they're a paramedic. And I go As far with as you know. See, if I was in charge of the show, <laughs> I'd get some weirdo to go over and say he was a paramedic, and you'd be like, excuse me, I have to cut you open. Uh, 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 uh. And then everybody would go nuts. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So Rob Lowe is... Is, are you his boss on the show? No, or? so he's the fire captain. Okay. He comes from New York. He's a New York City firefighter. Mm -hmm. He moves down to Austin. And I'm the paramedic captain. But in most states, I don't know, it's, it's a different rule where I sort he normally would be the boss. But in this part of Texas, we both are captains. And it's true, so uh, I assume, struggle. that he was forced out of New York because he was too handsome to work in the <laughs> fire department there. They're like, you're actually starting fires with your face. <laughs> We need you to go to a more wide open area like Texas. <laughs> so that, and the calls are, are like, they're not like they're uh, old lady fell down in the bathtub type of calls. <laughs> they're like crazy stuff, right? But most of them are true, which is really nuts. Oh, they're nuts. really taken from yeah, their life. Yeah, they really, they research everything and they come up with these crazy, I mean. Like what? But production is wild. It's like every day it's such a big... Um, I go there and I'm like, whoa, what's going on? It's like being in Universal Studios, like theme park kind of everything. Because day. they're but, creating an emergency each day. Yeah, and there's, yeah, like if there's a car crash or there's, I can't say because there's things coming up we've already shot. But yesterday I was with a bull on set. An actual bull? A real bull. Really? Uh, who was like, I was terrified that uh -huh. I had to be standing there with the bull. And then as the day went on, they said, oh, no, he's trained. And I said, how do you train a bull? I didn't understand but he actually is like a puppy dog. They actually had to rewrite some of the scene because he's so sweet. Why didn't they tell you at the beginning of the day that he was trained and not dangerous? <laughs> no, they did. And then, event you know, you're so terrified of... Yeah, because it's a bull. a bull, yeah. But he was yeah. very relaxed, just chewing on his hay and looking up at the sky. Actually, we were talking during the commercial break 
Your dad, of course, Steven Tyler, who I'm sure everybody asks you about all the time, and I'm sorry if it's annoying, but <laughs> by the way, your dad's who like hung out, came and hung out with us here one day. Amazing. And he is, uh, I mean, just endlessly amusing. Like yeah. he went around <laughs> and talked to everybody. Aww. It was unbelievable. But he is performing at the Grammys uh, yeah. this weekend yes, with yeah. Aerosmith. Yes, That's a pretty big. Will you go and watch him? Um, I don't think I'm going to go this weekend because I'm filming and our hours are kind of crazy. Today. You'll be with the bull. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, you know, uh, Nicole Richie was here and I was asking her about Lionel, her dad, and what, what goes, you know, what she feels. Because, you know, everybody, when you watch your parents sing, it's like a weirdly a vomitous type of um, feeling <laughs> that you get. Do you have, do you, is it cool for you to watch your dad sing or is yeah, it? Oh, I, I mean, yeah, he's pretty amazing. I love well, yeah, music. Yeah, he's amazing. But as a performer, he doesn't half-ass anything. Like, he really is singing his heart out. So I'm actually usually pretty impressed that he's still... But he does things that embarrass me. Yeah, he, he embarrasses you regularly. Like right humping or... his mic stand. <laughs> yeah. They're in Vegas right now, so there's, like, clips all the time. So he's really humping his mic stand. <laughs> he's, like, taking his mic stand to the room and humping it up there. Looking, yeah. He, like, licks people's faces sometimes. <laughs> Well, uh, it's very good to see you. It's so good Welcome to see Welcome back you. to the United States. So the show, if you haven't seen it, is called 911 Lone Star, Thank Monday you. nights on Fox. Liv Tyler, everybody. We'll be right back with Michael Irvin. Hey, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Give back this holiday season in a fun way. Buy my new book, The Serious Goose. I wrote it and drew it. All the money I make goes to children's hospitals across the country. Or watch another gaming video and don't help kids. It's up to you.